So it's time to make a conclusion. We're going to bring to an end block number 7, which is chapter 7, Mechanisms and Pathways. You should know by now what's a reaction mechanism, and I think the most important part of the course is why it's important to study. I mean, not to study, but why you should study in case you're going to do a work on reactor engineering or mechanisms or reaction kinetics, etc. This is, of course, more into chemists, guys. Chemists, not that much chemical engineers, but it's okay, you need to know it. You know how to propose a basic reaction mechanism, at least you know how to do the most basic ones. You can define an active intermediate, which is actually simple. You know the concept of PSSH, this theory, pseudo uh, the pseudo state hypothesis that says that the rate of reaction or the addition of all the rate of reaction of the intermediates must be zero. And you know what is a pathway, which is essentially a map that shows you all the reactions involved in that, especially mechanisms. And I, I know I didn't include almost, actually I didn't include questions or problems or examples, exercises, uh, because this is not typical for chemical engineering. If you do need some material, tell me, or check the website, go to chemicalengineeringguide.com, go to courses, then go to reactor engineering, and choose chapter 7. You should find at least some 5 to 10 problems showing you how to do all the stuff we did before. For extra information, go to the courses, add me, or well, like my Facebook page, I add very extra, actually not that much into academics, but in general important information for chemical engineers, and you can contact me by mail if you have any special doubt. Book reference, once again, we're still studying elements of chemical reaction engineering, we saw chapter 7, but I think these two other books are well. Once again, chapter 7 from this book, and that's everything guys, chapter 7 is done, thank you for watching. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy, so if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.